What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Sworn Family Fitness and Financials. Uh, as I told y'all, I was coming back to back with videos today. Uh, this one is a much more important video uh, that I want to get out to everybody. Um, as always, I don't know if I said it already, but thanks for taking time out of y'all day to check in with me. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Like comment and subscribe turn on the notification bell and if you're feeling really nice share my video and help it get out to the most amount of people uh as you as, as i can as you can especially a video like today's video uh i feel like it's a very important topic to touch on uh man all these lights got me sweating i'm gonna be honest with you um but yeah and and i and did this intro about four times but um if you obviously you clicked on the video, right, you've seen the title um, and I just kind of want to address the elephant in the room in a future video, uh, which is being in an interracial marriage. Um, but today's video is about um, interracial kids, having interracial kids and um, showing that open dialogue. Um because the greatest thing about, you know, being alive is you, you're entitled to your opinion, you know, and um, I believe in being transparent. And um, like I said, I know the elephant in the room is me being in an interracial relationship and um, the thoughts and opinions that people might have on that. Um, like somebody asked me, you know, what's my demographic? What what kind of audience am I trying to reach out to or am I trying to attract? And my reply to them was the um, type of audience that's looking to just gain some knowledge and, um, you know, uh, support me in general. Just just really be a, a genuine supporter and not be because of who I married, not because of how much money I may have. The same thing I look for in friends is what I'm looking for in viewers and subscribers. Um, and like I said, I, I'm open to criticism and uh, different opinions on life. But, you know, for me, I'm just trying to touch the most amount of people pos possible in a positive way. So that's the type of audience that I'm trying to attract to me. So uh, if if that's your thing, then, you know, um, please stay tuned. Keep tuning into the channel. I have a lot of great content for you. Um, you know, I look over here, you know, I've had I've had these papers on my desk for the last, you know, couple videos. Uh, I've been really wanting to get to these, but I'm trying not to make this channel strictly about finance. Uh, I'm trying to bring you behind the behind the uh what do they say behind the uh door or behind the curtain behind the curtain that's what it's called behind the curtain and just uh share some of my personal life uh with you guys and you know so like i said i'm just very grateful for you guys taking the time out now when i come back my kids are gonna be here so stay tuned quite controversial and <laughs> welcome back people so as I said, I have my kids here, uh, and I have some questions for you guys. So this is completely improv too, right? Uh, you guys didn't know I was going to come down here and ask you to be on the YouTube channel, fair? Yes. And Are you nervous? No, not in the slightest, but I will expect compensation for this. Please. Your compensation will be dinner tonight. Uh, look at this. She's telling me she's going to get paid. To, to be on my YouTube channel, she's out of her mind. Like, this, this, this is my child, right? Uh, are you nervous? Very. Huh? Very. The, the, the camera needs to be able to hear you. Very. Very nervous. Why are you nervous? I don't know. Because you don't know what I'm going to say? I guess, yeah. Okay. So, in this video, I thought I would touch on being interracial. Right, being biracial children. <laughs> That's a controversial subject. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hold on, hold on. Are we not sworn? Are we not controversial? Quite frankly, yes. Yeah. Okay, then. We address things head on. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, and, and later on, I'm going to talk about being in an interracial marriage as well. 
You know, we know people who have opinions, thoughts, and things like that. So I just wanted to come and have that open. I mean, we talk about it anyways. Yes. But I thought we'd do it on camera. Not a public setting, no. Of course not a public setting. Wait, we even have an interracial dog, guys. Yeah. We have a Chorky. Jojo yeah. is Yorgi and Chihuahua. He's really mean, but nice. He's not mean at all. Yes, he is. I don't like him. He's mean to me. Anyways, yeah, so we even have an interracial dog, you know, uh, that's a joke, but it's serious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, not, a, so, not an easy topic to tread on, but okay. So listen, no, but I, I just, I just yeah. wanted to ask you guys a few questions, right? So the first question I have for you guys is, and we're not going to take five minutes to, to say everything yeah. that we feel these are I'm taking just, too long yes okay so what is it like being an interracial kid uh can I keep the fifth one so I can't answer without sounding like a bad person no come on see how let's um, be fair just okay talk. it's much more I'm much more like insightful and it's easy to have conversations with people it's easier to conversate on many more topics what does that mean no, come on. Um, it's I just have like a wider perspective because I'm not oh. only like black, but I, I like, I'm black and white. So are you black and white, or are you black and Bosnian? Bosnian, but that's perceived as white. It's perceived as white, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. It's normal. It's like a normal kid. Yeah, it to be. Okay, it's, it's like normal. a normal what? I'm a normal kid. He's a normal human. Okay, that's it. But, that's good enough. Yeah. What? Do you have a butt? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what'd you say? What? Oh, nothing. So how do you how do you feel like me and your mom do with exposing y'all to y'all biracial sides, meaning the Bosnian side and the black side? Oh, very good. Very good. It'll be even better when you get that twenty three and me test. But yeah. Can you talk loud enough for the camera yeah, to carry? Can you look at the camera? The lens is right there. Yeah, but then I, the then upper left hand corner. Yeah, but it's no, I ask the question. I'm an interviewer, okay. and then you go ahead and, you know. So yeah, go. Well, what were you saying now? Very well, very good, good job. Um, this is so weird angle. I'm gonna look at you. Look yeah, no, look, look right. right here in the camera. Don't look at me. Okay, so that way people can see your eyes, your beautiful eyes. That's two of those. Yeah. Um, Four, but yeah, that's another thing. Look, <laughs> Uh, very, very good. Um, what was the question? <laughs> how, do you, uh, <laughs> how do you feel like we do? Uh, you guys do very good. Yeah. Um, because you make sure we do learn the language of Bosnian. Can, can y'all give us a quick example of that? Just talk about what y'all going to do today. Just so they can see it. Ja idem sa moj dve prijateljice i onda ja ću idem ja ću kupiti hranu i mi ćemo raditi puno stvari, ja ne znam šta sto posto, ali ja. Ali? Ja ću raditi ništa i ja ću jedi. He never, he, listen, this kid has always been embarrassed to speak his native language. No? Okay, okay no? I used to, but now I'm not. Okay, so why did you just use such a short sentence like you don't have a full Because I have nothing to do today. <laughs> All I said I was gonna, I was. Ah, gonna... I'm off you. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, would you say one of us is more overbearing than the other one? You were saying we do a good job with the Bosnian. What else were you gonna say? What about making sure you learn both languages? What else? Both languages. There's no both languages. Well, well you had to learn English, but okay, you, okay, you said we made sure we did. We did a good job of making sure you learned the language. What else? What, 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 did I I do? what did I do for the black side? <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish you did more. Huh? I kind of wish you did a little more. You, you, for, you, for me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. okay go ahead, okay. tell me. No, no So, no, fine. you for, you like my, you made sure, like, you forced Ali to learn Bosnian. Like, you, uh, like, monitored mm -hmm. me that I spoke Bosnian. Like, mm -hmm. you were very unhelpful with Bosnian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you refuse to take the twenty three and me test for the longest time. That's one like, thing. Come on. But I haven't I have not exposed you, you to to a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna get okay. into explicit. You have. You oh, have. Okay. But I wish more like specific, like heritage things like No, like, just because your mom took Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing the twenty three and me test pretty soon. Uh, I'll do that on camera so you guys can see. She's giving me flack or crap 
because her mom took the 23andMe test and they've been wanting me to do it forever. So I finally broke down and decided I'm going to do it. Ah, okay. Okay, so next question. Uh, what's it like to be bilingual? Oh, nice. Oh, it's Very super nice. fun. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, because I can talk about people and they don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, you like Into the camera, yeah. Hey, hey, they talk about me all the time. I never know what they're saying. I know very few words. Yeah, he's been learning, so it's like been more and more difficult. Like, he starts to understand, like, We'll say something and Some like words. have an idea. I, I, at some so. point, I really do want to make it a priority to learn how to speak the language. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, for the better part of my relationship, I've been a lazy American in that I, uh, right, I know it's not politically correct, it's sarcastic. But, oh, yeah. That's, but I'm just saying. It's breaking all the rules I, I, today. Yeah, I know. That's, that's what we do. Right. Um, see, I told you, I'm bringing you up behind the curtain. This is this is how the sworn family interacts, right? Um, but yeah, no, I I, um, I have been of the opinion that um, I live in America. I speak English. You know, I wanna, I wanna, yeah. Uh, I wanna really. Though, that's something I really wanna change, though, is because we do travel abroad. Right, we do go to Europe and all of these different places. We even went to Bosnia last year, and um, so yeah, that's something I really want to put a, a primary focus on for me. Okay, so it's good, great. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, I need y'all to look at the camera when y'all talk. It's fantastic. Uh, are you at all embarrassed about being interracial? No, that's one of my biggest flexes. Like honestly. Why? Why is because that Because it just gives me so much leverage in every situation ever. <laughs> and I choose not to divulge no matter what. Hey, you gotta love it. What about you, son? I forgot the question. Are you ashamed about being interracial at all? No. Can you look at the camera when you speak? I'm not used to it. Sit forward, I know. But you were saying you want to start a YouTube channel. Yeah. And you can't gaming. start a YouTube channel. It's if, gaming. I'm not going to show I'm my dog. face at all. Okay, well, gamers show their face, but go ahead. Are you I'm embarrassed not. about being interracial at all? No. Why not? I don't know. You just not? You just embrace yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's very uncomfortable. Um, how do y'all feel like being interracial today affects y'all? Like, what, what have your experiences been being interracial? Look at the camera. Are you like no, no, I, I'm. This is full disclosure. You know, yeah. Then let's speak open and honestly. Come on. I, I, I forgot the question again. How do you feel like uh, life has treated you so far being an interracial child? You can go first. What you mean? Come okay. On. Um. Um, I am not exempt from racism in any sense. Okay. Uh, there we go. Look at the camera. But, but. <laughs> that's good. No, that's uh, not. Okay. I'm, we're talking about you specifically. Okay, we're not specifically, talking about what we see on TV and in the news. Okay. Right? Or, or what black people personally have been experiencing, uh, especially over these last, uh, few years when it comes to camera phones and us being exposed to all the violence. I'm saying how is it affecting you personally? How what what have you experienced? People think like a lot of people think that because I am mixed that mm -hmm. they can get over on me because I, I'm like disconnected from either or side and okay. then they try and ask me for specific things that right. I the N word pass. One fantastic go ahead, go ahead. the N word pass, one fantastic example. Because I'm half white, so they feel like, oh, you're like really distanced from that. It shouldn't matter to you. You should just, it doesn't matter. Just let me say the N word. And I, I no, thank you. Okay. What about black people? Don't black just give the white people. <laughs> Let's be fair. Okay, yeah. Uh, black people, they assume that I just, I, I'm going to have like some sort of different, completely different like attitude around white people. I'm going to treat them like, I'm going to coddle them for some reason. Or I'm not gonna like 
like treat them a specific way like i'm going to be like just coddle them for some reason coddle and, white people yeah coddle white people like, like like you mean favorite white people yeah i'm yeah i'm gonna be like so they oh, feel yeah, like you're, 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 no, 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 no. we so can they, sit down and paint our nails and i don't i don't know just a bunch of so so they stuff. feel like you're gonna be less black than yeah you they should because think, you're interracial. they think yeah around like white people I, I should act differently i should like be gentler with them when i feel like i should be able to act like myself Oh, whoever I'm around, yeah. Whoever you're around, there, I'm with you. Yeah. Just be respectful. So. I like that. Thank you for adding that. Hey, hey, give me points for that. That's <laughs> good parenting. Just be respectful, right? Hey, what do we know about respect? What do we know about respect? You, you, you. That what? If you want respect, you need to respect others. Okay. And if you disrespect somebody, they have the right to disrespect you. Do you get to determine how they disrespect you back? No, you do not. Huh. Interesting. Okay. How how about you? How the, how has been an interracial child affected you so far? What you mean? So you don't you don't see or feel anything different, right? You just you just live a regular life. And can you look at the camera? Listen, I got to teach you guys. I'm, I'm trying to get... I have to look at the camera all the time? No, I mean, you can look at me, but especially the, when you're speaking, I, I need I you engaging with okay. the audience. I'm, I'm not even talking. I'm just... Okay, it's your turn to speak. Go ahead. Um, It's normal. I, I haven't experienced anything yet. Okay. Hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> but, but due to the... The climate of things. I don't know. I mean, where you can't say it won't because. I felt the same way. He hasn't started fifth grade yet. She's not started fifth. She's talking about fifth grade. Okay, it's great, great segue. You saying fifth grade? Okay. Sixth, yeah. So let's say adulthood, right? How do you think being biracial will affect you moving forward? A little bit. Uh, it's kind of difficult to say because there is so much going on currently, like. So it's kind of hard to tell. Like before, there was a more set path that we were headed on, but now everything is subject to life more than it was before. Okay, so do you feel like you're in a better position? Because uh, obviously, you're speaking from your black side, fair? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. With everything that's going on, do you think we're headed towards a better future, or do you feel like we're headed towards a more negative future? Um, Camera. You know, I have to think. Okay, I just want you to speak. I just want to let you know. Thank you. Uh -huh. Um. Hopefully, this isn't the case, but things get worse before they get better, and I don't know how long the worst part is going to take and how long the better part is going to last so because we were con like we were everything was going fine for a long time and then things started surfacing and things got worse so okay yeah so you're optimistic but pessimistic at the same time yes what about you i forgot the question how do you think being interracial will affect you moving forward into your adulthood? Um, I just answered. See guys, so this right here yeah, is know. a product of a 10 year old and being innocent, being raised in a very open and honest and loving relationship, not coming in contact with any kind of racial um, profiling or things like that he's had a very good um life you know for, for lack of better words and he as he said himself he hasn't had to experience anything in particular uh dealing with his race and hopefully he never does okay. and what that won't pass, right? huh that won't pass but that what speak loud please the n-word pass but that Already? Yeah. I told you. Thank you. Thank oh, no. you. Come on, sit forward. Let them hear you. Let them hear you say that. The N word passed. It started in fourth grade. Huh? It started in fourth grade. It started in fourth grade. Kids are getting older and older. The younger and <clears> younger <throat> they are. Yeah. And what? How do you feel about the N word pass? Don't say it. There's no reason to. 
Do you use the N-word? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking. Do you use the N-word? Nope. And I've had many discussions with my mother about this. I don't like the N-word. Okay. So, Do your mom use the N-word? No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, people go at home, they gonna wanna know. Like, I bet his wife's saying or something, so oh, God. you know, no, I just gotta be She clear. dislikes the N-word more than I do. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, full disclosure. I use the N-word. He does. I'm gonna be fair, I'm gonna be honest. I use the N-word. I unfortunately listen, I don't have to explain myself. Uh but yeah, I just wanna be transparent and I say know. that I do use it. Um but no, nobody else in my home does. Um, I know I need to do better, maybe. Um, maybe. So, with that being said, do you guys have any closing comments? Let me comment first on any uploads, okay? Until you see my name, it's Nasia Sworn, as a picture of Patrick. Do not comment, please and thank you. On this video? Uh, wait, which is this the video? Are you merging the videos? Any video no. that involves a giveaway or anything that needs to be commented on, let me do it first, please. So, guys, comment down below. Should I disqualify her? No, I'm pretty much am disqualified. No! Her. But let her know. She should be disqualified for any giveaways that we do on the channel because she's my family. Rebuttal. He's using, uh, what's the word? Nepotism, whatever it's called, where you uh, favor your family. He's doing the exact opposite. I am I don't know being. What she's talking about. Any I'm, closing words, Ali? Um, a porn anybody? Oh yeah, I have a Give PayPal. A I have a PayPal. I have a PayPal. Jojo, you got any closing words? He come really here, too. come here, Daddy. Come here, Daddy. Do you have any closing words, man? Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Did you look at the camera? Say hi to the people. Jojo. Yeah. Man. Did he is looking look, at the camera? Look, look, look. look up there. Georgie. Look up there. Say hi to the people. There you go. All right, listen, guys. That's going to end our conversation with them. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so I'm back by myself. Hopefully, this was a very insightful video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. I have my being in an interracial uh, relationship or marriage video coming pretty soon. Also, don't forget to go back and watch some of my uh, previous comment, Patch Nation, what's up? I'm calling it for the bowl this year. Um, listen, as I said, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's it's going to be a pretty long one, um, but I think this is a very necessary topic uh, to touch on. And um, as you can see, we had fun with it, actually. I thought it might be a little more serious, uh, especially because... I kind of surprised them with it. I caught them off guard. If you would like to see more content like this, comment down below, please. Um, and let me know. Let me know what it is you guys want to see. Um, like I said, go back, watch some of my previous videos, my beginner videos, uh, my car review video. Uh, yo, you can still make $700, $200 from opening a new checking account at uh, Citibank, FYI. Uh, I'm going to have paying off some credit card debt coming to you guys here in the very near future. And also, like I told you, uh, my refinance. So please stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I, and, and that's it. You know, I'll catch you on the next one. It has been a pleasure. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you.